Yo, what's up? It's your boy Currency365. Hope you guys are doing well. Legends never die. They stay in our hearts. Uh, if you want to support us, click the like button, subscribe to the channel, and also you can come down here and hit the join button uh, under the video uh, or in our channel uh, section. And you can also join our Patreon, patreon.com slash currency365. And uh, we also have Cash App and also PayPal uh, for support if you want to sell some seeds. Peace out. God bless. Enjoy the video and keep the movement going. Legends. Bye. All right, welcome back to Currency 365. Hope you guys are doing well. Lung community, USDC community, Luna 2.0 community. What is going on, everybody? June 20, 2024, a lot of people on vacation. A lot of people are spending time with family. A lot of people spending time with friends and, and their children. You know, school's out. Everything's out. So people in the malls are packed with children and, and teenagers, you know. Um, so everybody's out having fun at the beach. And a lot of people are not concentrating on cryptos. Why well, the volume is down every single day. It's almost like the bear market again here. So we have to just weather the, the storm of of the markets. And um, Bitcoin, the bulls just need to hold support levels. and and let that right shoulder come on in on Bitcoin and we can head towards that 80 to 100,000 area. Um, if not, then of course, Bitcoin is going to fall into the 50,000s area. And that'll be a really good pickup there for many of the altcoins and mean coins and, and Bitcoin. And then we can go along from there. But um, either way, we want we really want Bitcoin to really hold here in, the, in this level, to hold this level and then make that turn, uh, that right shoulder in and then absolutely explode. Summer Olympics are coming up and the world will be watching that. So that's going to be interesting to see how that plays out. And um, and then after that, it's time for the run to, towards the elections and and uh, and holiday season begins, you know, and uh, and the election. So um it's interesting right so time is going by very fast we're about to be in july already just on the snap of a finger um and um yeah that's where we are all right so um lunk is that let's put 10 minutes on the clock here so we got nine minutes or eight minutes left and some change here so um four zeros nine one uh five four and um no we're just right underneath that area there you know people are, you know uh, I know people can are frustrated, and it's all good. Um, you know, uh, we're all frustrated. We we believe Lunk should be headed at point zero zero uh, one right now, and heading towards that one cent and um, doing this thing, which is just not the case right now. Um, okay, but the circling supply is continuing to drop significantly here. We're now down to five point five trillion. Uh, five point five trillion. Wow. So, you know, like we're dropping really fast here. Uh, circling tokens are coming out of circling supply very fast here um, in different ways for Lunk and USTC lately. And so, and it just has not, it just has not reflected on the price for some reason. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know why, but uh, it is what, and that maybe because the markets are just really bad. Um, either way. Okay. So, 5.5 now trillion on circling supply there for US uh for uh lunk. Okay, let's look at USTC 5.7 billion uh 5 5.751 billion now for the uh, circling supply of USTC. We're going to watch that closely because we, like I said before, yesterday I started swapping my tokens over right to USTC. I want I, I want USTC now for my lunk reward. So I'm going to every week, maybe every Friday, every Saturday Whatever it is, I'm going to swap my um, lump rewards for USTC. I'm going to build my USTC position up, back up, and um, and uh, get that going. Because remember, I gave I, I gave a lot like my USTC. I gave it to Brad for burns, right? So I, I I was giving my USTC away for burns and and uh, also the the promos for Inu Inu. We were burning USTC, so I gave my USTC away. So I, I got to rebuild my USTC back, right? So. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to rebuild my USTC back back up to the prices I want. Uh, I don't know what price that is. Is it 5 million, 10 million? Uh, maybe I set a goal of 10 million USTC. Maybe I want to hold 10 million. So I have $1, $10 million. Um, so yeah, I'm going to set a goal for 10 million USTC. That's my, going to be my goal. Okay. So I'll set a goal for it to, to accumulate 10 million USTC 
um, you know, before we repack it. And of course, that doesn't mean that I'm going to get that because if something happens with the reset currencies or something happens with Shiba Inu or something, then, you know, will, will I be able to get 10 million USTC in time? Probably not. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, like things are like, if, if Shiba Inu just exploded here and, and went up 3,000%, what's the likelihood that I'm going to be able to get US to 10 million USDC um, in time because every so many people are going to be swapping out of SHIB at that point for LUNK and in USTC. And it's going to be really, and, and the markets are probably going to explode with SHIB at that point. So it'll be really hard to get the 10 million. But I don't know. I guess we'll see. I'm just going to, I'm setting my goal um, publicly here of 10 million USTC. And saying I'm, that's my goal now. I'm gonna I'm gonna take my rewards, swap them out of it, and uh, and my goal is to get to 10 million USTC. All right, and I think that's a good goal. 10 million USTC uh, hold there, and um, I also want to get my goal of lump up into the billions. But I, I, you know, I, I want I want Shiba Inu or Sheena or something else to really take off, so I can then swap it into lunk there and and reach my billion goal of, of lunk, right? So I don't want to really use my own money to do that. I wanna I wanna I want to be able to use other cryptos that I have available uh, to do that. So, okay. So that's it is what it is. Um, you can see the price here. You can see everything down. The volume's down here. Um, we're up a little bit today. Uh, Mark cap's 107. Um, and it is what it is. All right. So let's look at uh, Luna 2.0. Let's see what's going on with that one. Uh, 43 cents, up 1% today. Volume's up. Uh, five percent and uh, mark caps up a little bit as well and uh, okay so it is up a little bit 0 0.83 percent now and okay this did change it looks like they are it looks like they I, I had to change um i don't even know i thought that was 771 last yesterday was that 771 yesterday i can go to my i can go to my channel on my phone and and ch and click on my video and see if that if that changed or not. So I'm going to do that right now because I want to. I want to. I'm curious to see if, they're, if they are minting here. Um. So let me go to my video and I'm going to go to USTC and let me see if they actually if that actually change. Um. USTC. Oh, that's uh. No, that's not USTC. I'm talking about um. Luna 2.0. Okay. Let's look at Luna 2.0. Luna 2.0. Seven seven one seven four one zero three eight was yesterday. So they minted almost a million tokens. There you go. So they are minting. They're minting tokens. They minted almost a million tokens yesterday on Luna. And then we're still up. Look at that. So they minted a million tokens and it's still in the green. So that's why I said when these when when these things are running like this. That you should you should mint tokens and then you should swap them for USTC and burn USDC. So let's go back to USDC to see if they did any burns. I mean, of course we can just go to Stakebin and Stakebin will tell us. But let's see if USDC supply went down yesterday. So let me go back to my video and let me go to USTC and let's see the circling supply USDC. USDC circling supply yesterday was five billion seven five two. Yes. So USTC supply did go down. Okay. Now, I don't know that if that's the reason because they minted and swapped and burned for it, but it did go down. Okay. It could be the burn tax or it could be something else, but yeah, USTC supply did go down again. It went down. Okay. So all you got to do is look at the last videos, guys and girls, and see if the, if the, if the thing is going down. Um, and, or you can just check stake bin as well. You know? Uh, okay, so that's good news. You know, Luna's minting a little bit of tokens, and I'm not sure if they're minting to support themselves or whatever. But if I was them, I would be minting to every time Luna goes up, I'll, I'll mint some, a million here, a million there, and I would use it to buy back and burn USTC for the repay. Uh, then you're freaking billionaires, right? And you ain't got nothing to worry about. Then the SEC look like clowns, you know what I mean? Like, Four billion dollars is nothing, you know, but that's just common sense. But you know, people don't, you know, I guess you know, a lot of people don't have common sense these days, apparently. Um, uh, increased validator active, uh, set to uh, 130 now. 
Uh, Shane and others said that, um, no, this could be a welcoming sign to um, bring over Luna, um, you know, validators to to over to Lunk. And so maybe that's why they want to increase it to 130. I told you guys yesterday, if you guys want, if the community wants to pass it, I'm, I'm going to be for whatever the community wants. OK, so is, is, is this a way to bring uh, to bring Luna 2.0 validators over to Lunk? I don't know. I mean, we want the Lunk, we want the Luna, we want Luna token on the Terra chain, right? We want it on the Terra chain. Um, now, if you're on Galaxy Station, um, it just says Mainnet, and Mainnet on Galaxy Station adds. I mean, the the, the Luna and Terra are running together on the Mainnet chain, but on Terra, it, that's different. It is the classic, and then the Mainnet is Luna, and the classic is is Terra is Terra classic. So. On Galaxy Station, it's a lot better. It's mainnet, and and you have Lunk and and Luna 2.0 running, basically running together. You can get your rewards when you claim your rewards. You can claim both of them together, so it's really awesome. Now, shout out to Galaxy Station. Um, that's awesome. I was having some problems yesterday with my swapping, but it got, it, but then it, it, it cleared up. I think I was clicking. Maybe I was clicking the wrong buttons. <laughs> I don't. I don't know. Anyways, it got fixed, and uh, I was able to start my swap. So I'm starting my journey. To swap and to, to get the 10 million USTC um, token, so I'm gonna start my journey on that. I don't know how much money that that's gonna cost me, but or how much money that is. I'm trying to get it all for free through staking, so rewards. So it doesn't really matter. Um, I don't know how long I'm gonna get there or do other tokens maybe going up and then swapping out of it for USTC. But I want to get my 10 million USTC. So I don't know. Some of you guys want want a million. Some of you guys want a hundred thousand. That's fine. Uh, I'm going to set my goal for 10 million USDC, just like I got my Levita AI goal for 100 million Levita AI. Um, and uh, I already have, you know, my Shiba Inu goals already been reached and, um, you know, my Bad Idea AI goals reached. And, you know, so a lot of my other goals are already reached. So I'm just holding those tokens and it is what it is. But once um, other things can happen here, um, then it'll be OK. All right. So let's go quickly through here since I'm over my time. And uh, 18 minute, 18 million in burns, 20, 20, uh, 12,000 in burns today. And uh, we're at that almost 1 billion there for staking. Every time we get to that 1 billion, somebody always on stakes and, and uh, we lose that. We lose it. But 15 billion just came in last 24 hours in staking. Wow. That is incredible. Okay. Uh, and shout out to everybody that's burning USTC. Shout out to everybody that's burning Lunk as well. Both of them are being burned. That's good. Uh, Happy Caddy Crypto continuing his his rise back to the top here, 546 million. Shout out to Happy Caddy. I mean, I don't know what he's doing, but he's doing some type of promotions. <laughs> and then uh, Community First Lunk, uh, 378 million there. And uh, I wonder if Brad, Brad should do promotions. I wonder what type of promotions Brad could do for his validator on Twitter or even on maybe YouTube uh, commercials or something. I wonder what he could do. Um, somebody give Brad some ideas on what he could do to um, to do uh, uh, um, promotions for his validator. Uh, N I T A W A losing another four hundred and seventy one, and that's because of the missing blocks there. And Baywatch also as well, and then all notes lost hundred million there. Okay, so and look at the, my God, this is it continues. So for some, I don't know what's going on, and nobody has told me any answers. Uh, Brad, if you have any answers of why people are missing this many signatures every 24 hours, let us know. This is bad for the chain. Like validators should not be missing this many signatures in 24 hours. I don't know what's going on. I think people are on vacation and they just haven't been. They don't check their 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 nodes, and so they're, they're not upgrading their nodes. They're not checking their nodes. Uh, we had genuine genuine labs upgrades. We have we've had the uh, Oracle pool upgrades uh, that are supposed to be happening now. So. You have to upgrade your stuff. You can't just go on vacation and be on gone for 20 minutes and 20, 20 days in Italy and not check your stuff and make sure your nodes are running properly, right? And so that might be the reason why all this has been happening since the vacation season has started, right? So, okay, so validators are here and some of them are good, many of them are bad. It's up to you to decide who's who. And you can see um, the list of names here. Um, any big changes? Uh, not really, everything's pretty much. Status quo here. Now, you know, Jesus Lord 2 is now in the top 15. So, you know, it's, it's, in, it's in the top 15 and it's, and it's benefiting. I, I think Jesus Lord 2 and Jesus, Jesus Lord 1 is benefiting because of all the missed signatures that are going on here. Um, but um, 
you know, you know, who knows. Um, also, we're waiting on the 1.5% burn tax to come go live as well. Uh, okay, so, you know, and Vegas is in the top 20. And they're missing 6,600 signatures in, in 30 days, but they're still in the top. People are still um, rocking with Vegas there. All right. Um, cool. So, Burn It All is in the top 40. Only missed 11 signatures in 30 days. Not bad. And, uh, all right. So, there's the rest of the validators. Hope you guys are doing well. See you guys in the next video. Um, time for me to, you know, start my accumulation of USTC to 10 million tokens. And um, let me know what you guys are accumulating. Put it in the Telegram group. Um, how, what, what's your goal? What's your goal for USTC? Is it 10,000 tokens? Is it 100,000 tokens? Is it a million tokens, 10 million tokens, 100 million USTC tokens? What is your goal before we repay USTC? Let, let us know in the Telegram group, the uh, Currency 365 AI group, um, the 1000 Burn Army group. Let us know in there what is your accumulation goal for USTC or have you even reached? Maybe you've already reached your accumulation goal for USTC. So now you're swapping out of USTC for other tokens. And that's fine as well. Peace out. God bless. I'll see you guys in the next video.